They call it the world's most amazing mile, the Incline Railroad in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the world's steepest railroad. It's been a combination tourist attraction fact of life that goes on and on year after year. Behind the ticket counter at the base of the mountain, you'll find Malcolm Bice. Over the past four decades, he's watched the world change around the railroad. Mr. Bice, for years, didn't folks just ride the incline to go to work or go home? Or? Yes, uh, that was uh, way back before, when they, before the automobiles got so popular, they uh, relied on the incline. And in fact, the school kids rode it to and from school. It went to school down here in the valley. After selling tickets for each trip, ticket agent Bice changes hats and becomes conductor Bice, all aboard and heading for the summit. Everybody except Malcolm. He has a secret. For 40 years, he's only gone halfway up. Now, I hear that your reputation is that you like Lookout Mountain, but only halfway. That's true. I, I'm sort of chicken. I just go halfway. The other fellow gets on and takes up tickets halfway up. I, did, I sell the tickets on the lower end, and he takes them up on both ends. Well, don't you ever have an urge to go all the way up? Well, really, I'm a little, I'm a little chicken. I got a weak heart, too, and I'm, I'm a little afraid of it. On a little platform at the midpoint, he switches cars with the other conductor, who started at the top. Back inside, a moment for his favorite pastime, kidding and spinning yarns with the passengers. Say it again. How are you, Reverend? I'm still here. Well, I'm glad you made it all right. I can get away. Well, I'm glad, too. We, we've been exceptionally lucky today. We haven't lost a car all morning. What's your favorite story to tell somebody on the... On the well, uh, I get a lot of laughs. Uh, they want to know when that thing broke, and uh, I said, well, it hasn't broke since yesterday. Well, what happened? I said, well, they haven't found it yet. They don't know what happened to it. <laughs> so uh, I, I get a lot of laughs out of some of them. Uh, tell you about a little girl falling out of the car and breaking her arm and leg and have to shoot her or something. <laughs> You're not worried about giving the incline a bad reputation, are you? <laughs> Well, if you tell them the truth, they wouldn't believe it in there. <laughs> At the end of the line, it's a handshake and a friendly word for everybody. Then a short 10-minute wait before it starts all over again. At least 24 trips a day. Goodbye, bigger. For 40 years, Malcolm Bice has been riding up and down the side of Lookout Mountain. Well, at least halfway. Let's go, Mr. Bice. Okay, thank you. Now, we'll try it. All right. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, I'm Andy Johnston. Mr. Bice, what are we going to do if this thing uh, stops halfway up? Well, now, we got some packages on here that have to get out and push. <laughs> well, all right. That worked out just fine. Okay, good. I hope you get some good